I thought it would be more memorable if I were to actually sit here on the toilet while I talk to you about loving your shit. What do I mean by loving your shit? Well, when we think about something we did or something that's going on for us in our life and we judge ourselves for it, we're actually thinking about something we did in such a way we're saying that's shitty. It's like, man, I shouldn't like be procrastinating or um, I um, don't like that I've raised my voice at my kids or my, my spouse or um, I gotta like put myself out there more. And it's like a thing about ourselves that we're not accepting of and not liking of. And, and even if it would be culturally, normally accepted, socially agreed that that's not a useful thing, um, and, and so it's like everybody thinks it's shit. It kind of seems like, yes, you shouldn't like it. You shouldn't like that aspect about yourself or you shouldn't like that you have that behavior. Um, I'm actually saying the opposite. Like whatever your shit is, you actually want to love it. And my friend Brian gave a nice, made a nice point about like, like the relationship to your actual shit being a healthy one is to, um, well, it, his point came from a question that I asked him. I said, when you wipe your ass, right? When you take a shit and you get your TP, I probably would use more than this on a first wipe, just saying. But imagine if I'm, I didn't actually poop, I'm just doing this for you. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> if you were to go for your first wipe, like bam, do you look at it? Do you look at the paper? Well, yeah, because you want to know that you've gotten clean down there, right? And then when you're done, you put it in, you turn around, you before you flush, do you look with the shit in there? And yeah, it's like, it's you do, or most people do. And why well, Why do you? This is what Brian's point was, because it's healthy to look at your shit because it's an, it's an uh, indicator of what's going on in your body, right? And so you having a relationship with your shit where you can be with it, until it's clean where you can be with it to see what its consistency is. A loving relationship, meaning it doesn't mean love in the sense of where I desire that I want. It's not like I'm pulling it out and putting it all over my face. But a relationship where I care to pay attention. And it's not, it's not like, oh, I wish I didn't shit. I wish shit didn't come out of my body. I had a friend, Lisa, who said that when we were young, we were a teen, she's like, girls don't poop, flowers come out of their bum. It was like, poop's gross. But like, that's like insane, it's crazy. Because everybody shits, everybody shits. It's actually normal and it's healthy. But if you look, if so if you can care for your shit, you care about it enough to pay attention to it. You don't judge it as wrong. It's like everybody has behaviors and habits that are not what they would love, of course, because we take in experience and we digest that experience and we act at our best and most of what comes out of us is great, but some shit comes out too because we metabolize experience and we get both good energy and bad poop, right? We're gonna have all of it. But if you don't pay attention to your shit, in a way where you care for it and it's okay that you have it, then you don't know what's going on inside your body. So I'm always looking at my shit. I'm always looking at my shit to see what it, what's going on with, what is it? What am I eating? What am I up to? What's going on in my body? If my body of my mind and my spirit. My shit is the best indicator for what's actually occurring inside my inner world. So I wanna see that and I wanna love it and not judge it because if I judge it, they go, oh, close the toilet, don't look, don't wanna look at the poop. Well, then I don't know what's going on. So people who judge their shit, who don't like their shit, in, their, in the metaphorical sense, they don't know what's going on inside. I love it. That, way I, that means I can see it. That means I can see it and I can be with it and I can care about it. I don't give myself shit for having shit. I love my shit. So if you want to develop a relationship with yourself that has you create more inner health and well-being and groundedness and spiritual growth, you got to love your shit. You got to fall in love with your shit. Look at it. Wipe it up, look at it. Be with it, hang with it, wipe till it's clean. See what the consistency is. See what's going on in there. Love your shit. If you wanna learn how to love your shit even more, we can have a conversation outside of the bathroom. In my studio every week, I stand, not sit, and I have conversations with clients, and I help them to upgrade their way of thinking about themselves and their life, intentionally, consciously create who they think they are who they think, what they think the world is, such that when they wake up in the morning, they meet the world in a way that feels relaxed and easy, and they're able to produce the results they want because they're making a difference to people in the world with their work, with their products, on their team, and their businesses that has impact and adds value, 
value out, money in, doing that in a relationship, connection, intimacy, whatever the value is for that person out, intimacy in, listening in, sex in. Results come through action. Action emerges from who we think we are and what they think, what we think the world is. That's what we create. If you want that, Creator Circle is the place to get it personally from me. Click the link, send me a message. I love you just for being here and watching this video. Bye-bye. Wait. See you soon.